Today, I'm going to tell how I found the perfect size tractor for my property, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. If you're interested in tractors, post frame construction, and homesteading, well, you've come to a good place. Why not subscribe, tap the bell, and join in on the conversation? Finding the perfect size tractor for our property was a long journey that took over a year. And I want to share a little bit with you today about how we got to the end of the journey and how we found the perfect tractor for our needs. It was a long journey to find my perfect tractor. I looked at dozens of tractors and thought about their strengths and weaknesses for my property. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. My first option was not a tractor at all, but a zero turn mower. If all I wanted to do is to maintain my developed acreage, a zero turn can cut faster than a tractor. If I wanted to expand my finished ground, equipment rental might be the smart way to go to establish a clean level surface. But a zero turn can't help me clear timber, maintain drives, and do some gardening. Someday I will own a zero turn and it will help me save time cutting three or four acres of room lawn. Next, I considered Ventrec articulated tractors. They are really cool and have a lot of available attachments. The articulated frame lets it cut slopes more safely, but it does lack a robust loader that I need. I will probably never own a Ventrec, but I really respect its capabilities. Next, I looked at subcompacts. They really aren't big enough to handle 17 acres of land. I have trouble getting an ATV through the rough fields and think it would be overwhelming for its size. If I had a stable for horses, the small size would really be handy. The other problem is brush hog size. It would take me a lot longer to brush hog six, six acres of unfriendly ground. It would also be underpowered. If I had five to 10 acres and wanted to maintain grass, maintain drives, and do some food plots, it would be the perfect tractor for me. If I were a landscaper who needed to dig trenches and confined spaces like suburban houses, the little backhoe would be just the ticket. Other than that, I don't need a backhoe, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on something I can rent for occasional use. Next, I looked at compact tractors a sweet spot for people that own seven to 20 acres that need to be able to do a lot of tasks. With it, I could do small implement farming, driveway maintenance. It has a good bucket size. It's good for working in the woods. And I found out that subcompacts are available in 25 horsepower, 35 horsepower, and 39 horsepower. Tractors above 25 horsepower need to have tier four emissions and usually the people that buy a smaller horsepower tractor are trying to avoid the cost and inconvenience of a diesel particulate filter. Most compact tractors that have these different horsepower ranges are the same frame size, loader, and hydraulics. It seems that the under 25 horsepower buyers want to avoid the cost or inconvenience of diesel particulate filters. And yes, a diesel particulate filter does drive the price up, and it needs to regenerate once in a while. But the PTO horsepower greatly increases. Bottom line, you get more work done in less time. And that's important to me. If I couldn't get past the idea of a diesel particulate filter, I had options. Massey Ferguson has higher horsepower tractors without them. Massey Ferguson tractors, except the 1735E and 1739E, don't require diesel particulate filters. A compact tractor would get the job done, but I wanted a bigger bucket with more lifting capacity. I also wanted enough PTO horsepower to operate a six foot brush hog capable, capable of cutting two to three inch saplings, because I got a bunch of them. A heavier duty, wider box blade would be handy too. Finally, I looked at small frame utility tractors. They come usually in a range of 40 to 60 horsepower. The difference in cost between a high-end compact tractor and an economy model small frame utility tractor is very little, and I decided to buy the economy model small frame utility tractor. The advantages I saw were it takes larger implements, it's able to operate heavier implements, 
It has a greater loader capacity and lift height. Wheelbase is short enough to maneuver through the trails and the larger wheels increase stability and weight. For my property, it is the perfect tractor. Once we fully understood our property and what our requirements were going to be for today and down the future, we were able to select the perfect tractor that fit our needs for our property and that would last for generations to come.